Ah, master your heart. Open it or shut it down at will. This is a little bit of a controversial topic, I guess, you know, within the spiritual field, because we are, most of the times, it's all about opening your heart and radiating and opening your heart. But what about shutting it down? Sometimes there might be situations in life where it's very important to be able to protect yourself and shut down your heart. You know, imagine that you have a house, right? Somewhere downtown New York, and your house is open all the time, that you have this door, it's just open all the time. What is going to come in sometimes is not something that is pleasant or valuable to you. And so the idea that the heart, somehow this organ there, needs to be open and radiating all the time, you know, radiating, yes, but, you know, why does it need to be open all the time? You know, I personally have been exposed to situations where it was really, really useful to be able to shut down, to actually close myself, to go into cave mode and to be in a space where, no, I'm not going to open it, open up myself right now because I am processing something or I'm digesting something that requires nurturing, that requires me to go into virgin space, into my own space and not be exposed to outer influences. And so, you know, check it out. Check it out for yourself. How does it work? Have you been exposed in situ sometimes in, in your past to situations where your heart was open and because of that you suffered a lot. You suffered way more than you would have if you were able to shut down your heart. You know, I had another experience here in, uh, at my temple where I had my, my doors open all the time, right? Uh, all the time I've been here, my doors, my gate has always been open. And then one day we just shut down that gate. We just closed it because we wanted some privacy. And what happened was really magnificent because there was lots of beauty coming in the field. There was some form of refinement energy that I never cultivated or I never witnessed before. So this ability to open or shut down is like two states of being. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes closing or shutting down something is a powerful thing to do and might be what serves you the best. I can recall another experience, for instance, when I started doing yoga and I was 16, you know, in, this, in a city in Switzerland, and then I come out of this yoga class and I was in an ecstatic bliss, you know, really beautiful, really vulnerable and open. And then I enter into the stream of the city, into the stream of town and activity, and I felt like completely invaded by energies. Like I didn't have the protection, I didn't have the field of energy that was allowing me to, to stand the energies that were being projected on me. And it was, you know, it was not a heavy trauma, but I still remember the experience today. And it's been years ago, you know. So this, this is something that can happen. Think about all the situations, for instance, you know, you might be having sex with your lover, right? And there is all this beauty coming in and being all in this beautiful stream of love and joy and connection. Then you have to go back, you know, to work, for instance have to enter into a different vibe, into being networking, conquering mode. Or you have to go to battle somewhere. Of course, then you have to shift gears. You have to, to, to change direction. And so the idea is not so much, you know, just open your heart and have your heart open all the time. It's like bring awareness to it, bring consciousness to it. Be able to do both at will, because it's an organ. You know, it's a part of you that you have to master. It's part of your system. You know, it's like being, you can activate your thoughts or shut them down. You don't have to be in thinking pattern all the time. You can be in trans meditative state and then come back to planet Earth. You know, those are states of being. And what's important is to bring awareness to what you're doing and have conscious choice and be able to master both aspects of the heart, not just the opening, opening, closing, opening, closing. Then if you want to be open all the time, by choice, and that's great, you know, stay open. But if you only know how to be open, and in the process of being open all the time, you get hurt a lot, then, you know, that's a problem, that's a challenge. So my advice, yeah, you can add other qualities, you know, for instance, you can activate the other chakras, you can strengthen your solar plexus and so on. But to, if we focus on just the heart area, you know, this is my, my impression, is that sometimes it's good to open it, really radiate it out and then sometimes it's good to be able to contract it and bring it back to you know to, to shutting, it, shutting it down and closing it and so yeah I'm really curious about your experience what I'm saying right now does that resonate to you do you have a different opinion what is uh, your experience with these dynamics have you been exposed to situations in the past where because your heart was too open you got 
hurt or you got entangled in situations that were not serving you and the ability to close your heart would have been really useful at that moment. This is an open discussion, okay? I'm not fanatical about what I'm saying. This is simply an experience that I'm having in my own life. And um, it's something that emerged over the last few months and I realized, wow, it's interesting. As we talk a lot about opening our hearts, what about closing our hearts? You know, why not? Yeah, check it out. And uh, post in the comments, this is really an open discussion. I want to know what uh, your experience is with that and what you feel about it. I love you.